10 diagrams and flywheel for a multi cylinder engine in this video we are going to use simple basic formulas instead of using complicated formula now first i will read what is the given problem the turning moment diagram for a multi cylinder engine has been drawn to a scale 1 mm is equal to 600 newton meter vertically and 1 mm is equal to 3 degree horizontally the intercepted areas between output torque and the mean resistance line taken in order from one end are as follows plus 52 minus 124 Plus ninety two minus one forty plus eighty five minus seventy two and plus one zero seven millimeter square. When the engine is running at a speed of six hundred rpm, if the total fluctuation of speed is not to exceed plus minus one point five percent of the mean, find the necessary mass of the flywheel of radius zero point five meter. so this was the given question if we observe the question we have to find out what is the mass of the flywheel so here we will use the basic formula that is the maximum fluctuation of energy is equal to 2 multiplied by mean kinetic energy of flywheel multiplied by coefficient of fluctuation of speed so if we observe this formula then maximum fluctuation of energy we can calculate from this given graph then mean kinetic energy of flywheel so what is the formula for the kinetic energy so if we consider the linear motion then half mv square is the formula so in this case flywheel is rotating so we have to use half instead of m we will use mass moment of inertia that is i and instead of velocity v we will use the angular velocity o, omega so i will first solve this right hand side that is 2 multiplied by half into i omega square multiplied by coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is we will use here c to the base s so if we observe this 2 2 is getting cancelled so what is this mass moment of inertia that is equal to m into r square because here radius of flywheel radius is given so we will use here m into r square multiplied by omega so if we observe the question here n is given so omega how we can calculate by using 2 pi n by 60 so i will use here 2 pi n by 60 square multiplied by c is so here r is known n is known now we will move for calculation of cs and we have to calculate this mass in so now how to calculate the coefficient of fluctuation of speed so if we observe the given data here one specific condition is given total fluctuation speed is equal to plus minus 1.5% of mean speed so here total fluctuation speed how to calculate that is the difference in between maximum speed and minimum speed and it is plus minus 1.5% of mean speed so mean speed is nothing but omega so what is the maximum speed so we will consider maximum speed will be omega 1 so it varies in between plus 1.5% and minus 1.5% so this plus 1.5% we will consider maximum speed omega 1 is equal to plus 1.5% of omega because mean speed is nothing but omega and minimum speed we will consider here omega 2 which is equal to minus 1.5% of omega so what is the total fluctuation so total fluctuation is the difference in between maximum speed and minimum speed that is omega 1 minus omega 2 so i will take here omega 1 minus omega 2 so what is omega 1 that is plus 1.5% of omega minus omega 2 is minus 1.5% of omega so here we have to take bracket because here two times minus is there so if we solve this we will get 1.5 plus 1.5 that is 3% of omega So three percent of omega means what? Three by hundred, which is equal to zero point zero three omega. 
So if we observe this, we can again simplify this omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega which is equal to 0 0.03. But what is this omega 1 minus omega 2 by omega and that is nothing but coefficient of fluctuation of speed that is Cs. So in this way we will get this Cs also that is equal to 0 0.03. Now we have to find out what is the maximum fluctuation of energy. And for that we have to refer this graph. So this graph is drawn as per the data mentioned in the question. So on this y axis there on, on, on this vertical line there is turning moment that is taken with scale 1 millimeter is equal to 600 Newton meter. And on this horizontal scale crank angle is given with scale 1 millimeter is equal to 3 degree. So if we observe how we can calculate the area, so we know that this y axis distance and this x axis distance. So this distance is unity that is 1 millimeter and 1 millimeter. So how to calculate the area for the turning moment diagram? So we know the formula is area for the turning moment diagram is equal to torque multiplied by theta. But this theta should be in radians. So for that here theta is mentioned in degree. So we have to convert it into radians by, multi radians by multiplying with pi by 180. So if I calculate the area for unity that is 1 millimeter square that is this 1 millimeter on y axis and 1 millimeter on x axis that is equal to 1 millimeter square which is equal to this t that is 600 multiplied by theta that is 3 multiplied by pi by 180. So this is the area that we have to take for 1 millimeter square. Now what is the meaning of maximum fluctuation of energy? So this is the difference in between the maximum energy and minimum energy. So if we observe this diagram there are different points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and at these points we will first calculate what is the total energy and from that we will compare all those energies and we will find out what is the maximum energy and what is the minimum energy. So for that we will first consider the total energy at A is equal to E. So this initial, at this initial point we will consider the energy is equal to E. Then what is the energy at point B? So if we have to take here, this is above this line. So we will take here the plus 52. So E plus 52. Then what is the energy at C? That is E plus 52 minus 124. So again we will simplify this. So 52 minus 124 is nothing but E minus 72. Then energy at D. So E minus 72 plus 92 that is E plus 20. Then energy at E that is E plus 20 minus 140 that is E minus 120. Then energy at F so we have to add this 85 that is E minus 120 plus 85 E plus 35. Energy at G that is E minus 35 minus 72 E minus 106. And energy at H that is E minus 107 plus 107 is equal to E. Now to calculate the maximum fluctuation of energy we will first find out what is the maximum energy and minimum energy. So this basic notation that we have used here that is the E. So if we observe all these uh, energy or uh, total energy at the at particular points then here E plus 52 that is some amount of energy plus 52 is there then E plus 20 is there so which is maximum so here 52 is maximum so this is the energy at B is the maximum energy then E that is some amount of energy so E minus 72 is there E minus 120 is there E minus 35 is there, E minus 107 is there. So if we observe this 120 is larger number. So if uh, we uh, subtract this larger number then it will give us the minimum energy. So here E minus 120 is the minimum energy. So if we take the difference in between these two. So how to take the difference? So we have to take the bracket. So maximum fluctuation. So we will, if I write here maximum fluctuation 
is equal to e plus 52 minus in the second bracket e minus 120. Then again we have to remove this bracket. So here e plus 52 minus so this minus sign will be we have to multiply inside so minus e plus 120 is there. So this e, e will get cancelled so 120 plus 52 so if we solve this we will get here 172 but what is the unit so its a unit is given in millimeter square but now this calculated maximum fluctuation of energy is in millimeter square but we have to put here the maximum fluctuation energy in this formula in the form of newton meter so for that we will use the relation 1 millimeter square is equal to 600 into 3 into pi by 180 newton meter so this is the scale or relation so for 1 millimeter square this is equal to 600 into 3 into pi by 180 newton meter so we have to find out for 172 millimeter square so we will multiply here 172 into 600 into 3 into pi by 180 that is equal to 5404 newton meter so we will use this value in this formula so if we observe on the left hand side we will use 5404 is equal to now this m we have to find out then what is the value of r for this r it is 0 0.5 square and then 2 pi n by 60 so n is given so we have if we put here the value of n then we will get 62.84 square and then cs so cs is equal to 0 0.03 so what is the value of M? That is 183 kilogram and that, that is the answer.